Okay. Let's do defect. I feel like we just did we just did defect, but this was I think we did defect yesterday, right? We haven't done it today. So upgrade versus remove. Remove is pretty damn good. Although not the greatest path. Wanna do chapter there? We can do that at uh, uh, some point soon. I don't mind. Alright, this this the only reason why I move two strikes is because the zaps can kinda hold me over. Otherwise, you know, you do lose, lose a lot of offense. But for this guy, it seems fine. Because we have dual cast and zap for damage. Any other class in that feels really dangerous. I guess we could take a rebound, a cheeky little rebound to get some more damage. We're gonna take some hits, but removing taking this much damage for the, the two strikes is worth it. Like if I have to lose all this life and but get rid of two strikes, it's totally worth it. Streamline here. Alright, now we're taking a little bit too much damage. Okay, now we're taking a little bit too much damage. Okay, now we're gonna take even more damage. But this is gonna be worth it because we're gonna get uh, removal or like heal or something here. Or that. I mean, we have a good act one. So recycle or fusion? Well, we could take recycle to try to get rid of these cheeky little Pain and strikes and if we what if we recycle the deck get rid of the strikes and just have like a streamlined defend is that good enough what do you guys think about just a naked recycle get rid of strikes only do streamline his defends and zaps i mean i always had this idea of like a small little recycle deck i always think it's kind of cool but in practice it doesn't really do that well i don't know i'm kind of curious to do recycle it's kind of a meme. I should... I need to get rid of this pain. IP statue is amazing. Alright, I need to get rid of this... I was going to do an elite, but... Uh, I guess I can feel lucky. Oof. But what if we like what if we don't do an elite and we just this is our deck we just have like a crazy x1 deck scoured by flame so this is triple century right triple century triple century is good for this deck Right? We have Streamline to front load some of the damage. We have Region Pot. We have Frost Orbs. I think Triple Century is probably fine here because of Streamline and Rebound. And we can do some Frost Orbs. Well, no, we know for a fact that it's Triple, cent uh, triple Century because it's scattered by Flames. I wonder if I want to fight them. Yeah. Getting rid of strikes is something else. I wonder if I should take a hit though. Like, I wonder if it was worth it taking a hit so I can actually get white centennial because that was just a waste of everything. Probably worth to take a hit there. Now we're gonna have pain. 
and we don't have recycle for pain. That's a pain. Not getting recycled for pain is scary. again. It's coming. It's a coming. Hmm. Big damage. Okay. We got Electro. That's pretty good. The only problem is we need to get rid of this curse. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Close to lethal. I guess I had guaranteed lethal if I just... No. I'd rather do this. Okay, we're down to four life. No problem. More cool headed from more frost. The fact that we have a small little recycle deck. It's something. Charge battery. Okay, we do more cool headed. Recycle cool headed is play. Now, going into this fight with four life, with no focus and pain in the deck. We do have orb slots and frosts, and then we can recycle out the burns. It's totally possible that right now we could just win. If I recycle the burns, get rid of the pain early. If I can't recycle out the pain, then we're dead. That's the only problem. Like, I totally could do this fight with this deck. Because I, I do believe that just recycling everything down, doing cool headers, and having streamline for damage is probably just enough for this fight. If you use the orb pot. But the pain is too much of an, uh, a curse, funny enough. Fortunate. Hopefully we can get rid of the pain. We did it. I still want to get the lightning out. This is a really awkward recycle. This is gonna hurt. God. What, if, what did I bring back now? Fuck, this is an awkward recycle. So, here we are, this life. Bit, you gotta go to bed branch. Rebound the cool headed. We might get recycle. We might get recycle. Um, that's still too much damage to not take. Yes, pain is hurting us really bad though. Oh, we know we we didn't want to draw the pain because we just had recycle. That was a, that was a misplay. I need to get rid of pain Im immediately. All right, fuck. Now we're getting a little too low in life. It's still possible though. If we recycle out the fence, then we... Don't drop to pain. Oh man, don't drop to pain. Please. Hmm, I gotta think about this very carefully. 
I don't know when it gets into main branch. Beautiful. I have to do... I have to do this. I can't do Zep because I need dual cast next turn, I'm pretty sure, for full block. What do you guys think? Or is defend enough? Pretty sure dual cast I'm gonna need. Good block. Okay. Don't draw pain again, please. Okay, so we're doing it. This is possible. Rebound streamline is possible. We could do it, right? The dream is here. That was the closest Hexagos fight I've ever had. Never again. Never again am I taking pain and oh my lord. Okay, we need to get rid of this pain ASAP. Bias with this, yes. Snekawai. Curse key, Sozu, counteract white beast. Snekawai. I'm intrigued. Snekawai recycle is weird, but I am intrigued. Curse key, I guess we have Dark Soul Perry after Curse key is probably the best. Worst case scenario, we can also recycle out the curses. I mean, Snake Eye Defect is really powerful. But Krisky is more re just more reliable energy, and we do have Darkstone, I guess. Force energy. What's up, Nine Tail? I'll do this. I remove that pain and then the deck actually pretty good for leads because we have electrodynamics. So once I remove pain, electrodynamics, streamline. I feel okay about doing some some elites here. Let's just go to the shop first. Team barrier. Get more gold for the shop here. Even though ritual deck is pretty good for. Ooh, wow. okay. Time to prismatic. You know, I I tend to believe I want to move the pain right. Now I tend to think that prismatic is probably one of the worst on the defects. I want to full send it. I want to full send it, go prismatic. What are we looking for if we take prismatic? What the hell are we looking for? I mean, whatever the deck can bring, I guess. Strength scaling. No, because the, the defect really wants focus here. I guess if I take prismatic, I can find Panacea as a card reward, and then bias is better. There's now watcher cards, so let's think what watcher cards could do for this class. Watcher cards seem just really bad for the defect. Like the watcher just has no synergy for the rest with the rest of the classes. Hmm. Prismatic. I'm always surprised what prismatic gets me though. Like. I take it, and then I'm always surprised. Now, we, I think we this is not a prismatic game, unfortunately. As fun as that might be. I mean, it's so it's so novel. That's the thing with prismatic shard. It's so novel. It's really enticing. It's, it's always a novelty. I'm really kind of curious. I can do, like, strength scaling... I mean, I can do anything. Get well they plant. Get poison going. If I had Snekawai, then yes. This is a this would have been really good with Snekawai. Because Prismatic Shard 
and Snekawai is a really good combo because you can take a lot of cards that normally are just way too crazy and expensive. With Snekawai and Prismatic, this is totally a good run. So that's the potential for the seed. But right now with the key, I think we don't take Prismatic. Fad, 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 thanks for the follow. I think I'm gonna not really buy anything here. I guess we can do a third cool head is a little bit too much. I do like the recycle potential, but I don't have focus at the moment. I wish I had Panacea. I think ball lightning is pretty good front, load, front loaded, but all in all, this is not a very good shop. I would like to see another one. And what if I go this path? Take that shop. A lot of campfires. I want to get the sparkle out of the way, but what if I just really want that shop instead? There's also this path. Taking the lead. Another lead and then a lead shop. What's better? <laughs> Not a very good shop. Should I stop the frail? Or try to go for biased? Go for biased. Well, I guess I can say that for the elite, to be honest, now that I think about it. Now that I think about it, probably should have saved it for the elite. Holy shit, rebound quoted shenanigans, holy shit. Capacitor is great. Yeah, I just wasted my, a big potential elite cutter, which is... I think we go this path and go for late shop. Frail. Trying to preserve life, guys. Got a white beast, I gotta use it. Trying to preserve life. Darkness, who's the boss here? We have Capacitor, we can put a Dark in the back. Gives us some more damage. Okay, I'll take it. The deck's getting kind of weird though. Are we ever rested before this elite fight? Whew, I'm a little worried. A little worried. Tally fights are brutal. This, this avocado is, both of them together have done so much damage already. It's ridiculous. prevent damage like that's my hope my whole point is I want to prevent damage but I can also just try to kill this guy as quick as possible I'm gonna take four damage here so it's fine I still do the elite. I still do an elite. I just need to consume for focus. Okay, I'll take it. I can still do the elite. I just need to get lucky. What's up, Ventus? 
Well, let me think. Slavers, a lot of burst. We have block pot, but if we can get like electrodynamics out for the slavers and bias, then slavers doable. Gremlin leader. I mean, I'm, I'm very low in life here, but we do have tools. I'm so book of stabbing. Let's see with that one. Book of stabbing. We have some frost with a block pot to help manage early on, and then we get bias, frost, and electro. I think book of stabbing kills us probably. Fuck. Yeah, that sounds rough, man. That sounds rough. Should I do Fear Pot? Should I have done it ages ago? No. Give me some courage all here. He's moving in that way. He's 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 a professional drug dealer. He's he's a big time baller. Me for his body. Hmm. Frozen egg, sure. Some justice. Right, you're moving. That's it's a big move, man. Hmm, still cast versus what's better, playing all the cards or drawing the cards? Playing them, eh? More RNG. Right, I'm gonna rest. Go for this lead fight. God, why are you giving me this fight again, guys? You know how horrible this fight is, Mother Monkus. Okay, 25 block, sure, sure, must be cathartic though, like moving and getting all that stuff out of the way. That's a lot of, that's a lot, a lot, a lot, Electro is Pretty good because if I just I do distill the pot, I want to save the potion for the elite though. That's the only thing. This saves me life potentially. Let's get the frost. Maybe we get lucky. Hits the, the small guy. Yes. Hit the guy right in the back. No. Could be worse. Could be worse. It's totally fine. Totally fine. Okay, let's see what the lead has for us. Rainbow. That was pretty good. Okay, let's go. Book of Stabbing. As an early bias. Is that, dare say, too early? Dare I say too early? Or just early enough? Hmm. Bias and just go for the big bursty bursties. That's cool headed. Let's get that 
torch stacking. Not bad. Not bad. Consume. Mm, not bad either, but is Rainbow just effectively better? We lose some of that Dark Orb damage. What's up, Cyron? Hey, Psycho Grave with the Twitch Prime. Welcome back, dude. We got a baby now. What's the name? Hope you're doing good, man. Thank you for the resub. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Consumer's pretty good. Dual cast now. Go for lighting afterwards. It's probably a decent dual cast, right? Barrage gives me more damage. More damage because I have capacitor. I don't know if I need it or want it. Let me see. I mean, it's pretty good. I think I might pass. This deck is... It needs more. Let's see what the shop has to offer. Orange pellets. So with orange pellets, I can get rid of debuffs, which with bias cognition is pretty good. Wait a minute. I think we're in the money. Now, I think we remove a strike. Because the curses that we have get rid of themselves. Clumsy and instead of being get rid of themselves. So maybe we just get rid of strike. I'm also leaning towards Sunder. Because I think Sunder... is pretty good. And it's another attack for Biased. And it needs some front loaded to handle some of these minions like that. I guess we have streamline electrodynamics. What would Pendip do for us? Pendip doesn't seem as good here. Pendip does not seem as good here. But I think we're moving a strike, and Sunder makes more sense if I upgrade the Sunder. I can handle things like his little minions or other things in Act Three. Is Electro enough? Electro could be enough. What about Enlightenment? What does Enlightenment do here? No. I think I like Sunder here the most. Skim is interesting. Skim gives me more card draw for recycle shenanigans and if I do skim and recycle shenanigans I could just start thinning out the deck and do more degenerate things like just keep it cool heading with bias cognition so the skim seems kind of interesting but I do think the sunder really helps balance out the deck by giving more tax and also help managing the minions the only thing about sunder is that it's not good for the heart or act for elite not that great So the Sunder starts falling off already. Like, I'm taking it at the time where it's already falling off. So I guess we just depend on electrodynamics and streamline. I have, an, I have a goal. I have an idea. First of all, we have, we have to get all the keys coming up. We gotta get all the keys coming up. But this is gonna be... I mean, I guess we do have also Warp Tongues. So we got a skill and an attack. All right, if I focus, that should be enough. Seven focus should be even more than enough. A 
I could use a black pot here. Let's see what they made. This is a cold snap. I could take a hit, eight damage. I'm not really going for perfect, right? I'm not going for perfect. Take the hit, maybe get my frost out. I need my electro. Recycle would help as well. Alright, let's get the frost out. Let's get this out of the deck. I can get my lecture right now if I do stream my duel. No, I can't even afford to do that. I want to get my frost out. So, I'm going to do this. I think I should keep some dark though. It's definitely worthwhile. Probably wants like creative AI or something. I could rebound dual cast and then save dark for next turn. I have a lot of plays right now. Jesus Christ. Recycle's like kind of bad here. Dual cast consume. I'm not gonna do Electro right now. Can't get rid of those frosts. It's a lot of focus. And Dark is just powerful right now. I'm gonna scan. Maybe I get hit recycle. Okay. So I think doom and gloom is not necessary here, or cons I don't need to consume anymore, right? So I can get rid of consume. So what if I just rebound streamline? What's up, Dex? I guess I could do electrodynamics for damage. I wanted to keep the dark though. That's kind of what I'm looking at here. Kind of looking at keeping the dark here. I suppose I could have taken less damage. Not bad. All right, we gotta get. Ooh, it's a buffer plus versus multicast. I'll take the buffer plus. All right, guys. Got white beast sticker bark. I'm good, man. Oh, you came from YouTube, you watched the modded stuff? Nice, man. I haven't played mods in a while, but welcome, dude. We can go for five energy, or we can go for Sacred Bark, White Beast Statue. Combo. I think we have yet to bring this combo to full fruition. I'm, I'm intrigued. I'll do it. Got the Awakened one. It's okay. Bias is more than enough. We don't even have that many powers. But we are forced to fight this elite, so let's go. Yo, Nico Noki, thank you for the uh, Twitch Prime, man. Appreciate it. Twenty-four block. Unbelievable. Oof. Electrodynamics, my friends. Fight is over. All right, what are we getting? Let's see what potions we can get. Flex pot. That's crazy. Cause you know flex pot with pellets is just ten strength. You guys realize that, yeah? Ten strength. We don't even have. I guess we have enough powers for force field to be good, right? By the time we play our powers, force field's okay. Do we even care or need it? I mean, that's sixteen block f for cheap costs. Once it's all said and done, it's a zero cost 16 block, but the deck already kind of has some setup. I'd rather maybe not take force field. 
And I do like Sunder, but I think we already scaled past Sunder at this point. We just need Electro for this fight. I want to see what colors I get here. Hand of Greed. Interesting. Huh. Wish they gave me money. I got his bathroom. Oh, what is going on here? Big damages to the face. Damn. More frost indeed. We love more frost. Frost, please. FTL to get the cheeky little pellets because we don't have enough attacks for the pellets, yeah? So FTL for the cheeky pellets. One, two, three. We have three attacks. Cheeky pellets. Cheeky pellets. I could use... Mm. Cheeky pellets. Oh lordy. Oh lordy lordy. Ow. Need an attack for the bias to pop off. As well as get rid of Little Miss Constricted. So next turn we can get rid of our stuff. This is fine. So we do this. We do that. We want to preserve. Can't even preserve buffer here. Unfortunate. But we do get rid of frost. I mean, we do get rid of defense because there are our worst cards at the moment. And that's okay because we don't need to preserve buffer. All right, now we go a okay. All right, no more constricted. Easy. We have buffer for the rest of this attack. Maybe darkness to get the scale. Let's do this. Now we're just beasts. Let's go. Now we are just beasts. The only thing I do not like... Are me not using my potions. Two skill pots. Course up more frost. You know, it's a cheeky little attack for pellets, and I need more frost. I hate that I'm bloating my deck with things like cold snap, though, but I do need frost really bad. I wonder if we just try to hold out for better sources of frost. Because we have a shop coming up. Did we hold out for better sources? Gonna hold out here. Uh, I'll just use this now. Dynamics. My man's in need of electrodynamics. Sa save the frost here. Not electrodynamics, but 
bias cognition. So the more I blow up my deck, the wor less often I get the bias cognition. That's pretty tragic. We have buffer here. So save the buffer. Might as well get focused then. I don't want to rebound because I want to make sure I play bias next turn. I was gonna rebound consume, but I'd rather just make sure I get bias guaranteed. We're gonna lose buffer, but then we have darks and a lot of frost, so we should be fine. Right? Right to the big man? Should be fine? Right? Just a lot of damage. Get the max HP and the heal. Because we get max HP from this. But I want to remove that ASAP. So. I think it seems a good upgrade, but I might just rest here because I have to fight two elites. Although, dual cast looking like a good upgrade. I, I, I don't really want all these curses because I do want to find bias ASAP. So, C could be huge, actually. Consume seems like a decent upgrade. We're also about to fight two elites. And Warp Tongs heals me. I mean, Warp Tongs uh, upgrades my cards. But what upgrades do I want for the future? I think this Consume is a good upgrade. Can I do two elites though? Like Sparkle and this with this much life? Decent potions. I'm sure to say focus part for the Sparkle. Alright, if I get Seek, then this is really good. Defract's pretty good. Ooh, that is a Chemical X. Chemical X hits... Nothing. <laughs> Bring first body, and that's not good enough. I think we do Defract Plus, and we get rid of the Writhe. Then you ask yourself, was it worth taking the Writhe? I mean, at the time, with the heal and max HP, it allowed me to get an extra upgrade. I think it's fine. Yeah, need Electro Ace. We got Electro ASAP. Okay. I want to hit an attack here. I want to hit an attack. Easy. Okay. So we got an attack in the form of Cold Snap. And I kind of want to buffer this attack, or I guess we could get rid of, get one more frost here, and then dual cast, so I get full block. I want to do defrag. Buffer, is it worth doing right now? If I keep the, the lightning up, then I could not only do more damage, but then if, he summons, if she summons a minions, I have lightning for that. I think, I think we just play this get out of the deck. I mean, we have a lot of good stuff going on. I guess we could reinforce body. What if we just do darkness reinforce body? We can pass the rainbow coming up. I should have, I should have recycled something. We have 20, 29. We're gonna lose buffer here. Is it worth losing buffer here? I think so, because I think we're gonna win no matter what, right? I don't mind losing buffer here. 
feel confident we're gonna win. Toxic egg? Whoa! Wow! Alright, let's go. Take a hit here. Was I gonna use focus power for this fight? Like, I don't think I even need it. Yeah, but he has a lot of life actually. Well, he has 600 life. And. Focus Pot is really useful for things like the Awakened One. We do have Entropic Brew. We have so many potions, I want to use them. I'm going to use it. I need Capacitor though. And we have so much focus. Uh, it's ridiculous. Do I want to do two zaps? I know, but like, I felt like it's a waste of resource. I mean, we're fine. The dark's a little slow, though. Is consume better? I mean, consume... It's better just to do cold snap than consume here. I just let the dark simmer. Start recycling things. Um, I guess we just could let this thing keep scaling. I want to start recycling down so we can get dual cast more often. Shields Melter. Okay. Is Auto Shields a decent block just to get me rolling? That helps me set up? Or am I bloating the deck? Like, I don't want to bloat the deck. I feel like once we get the double biased out, we don't need any of these basic blocks. We just want to get double biased out ASAP. Great Relic. I think we don't take anything. We just really. Yeah, Melter's good against the last elite, sure. It's another attack for pellets. I, th I think bloating deck is going against high wind condition. One cleat. Start of your second turn. Fourteen defense. 
We need to attack here. If we get an attack here, then bias is huge. Got the attack. Say hello to winning. Say hello to winning. I just don't want to curse. That's the only thing. I just don't want to curse. So I'm just gonna pass. Duplication. Oh, whoa. That is something you keep. You keep that bad boy. You hold on to it. And you don't let anybody touch it. Card draw. Compile. More frost in the form of cold snap. Like cold snap. More frost pellet shenanigans. I mean, are we getting frost enough? I think so, yeah. Compile to help draw into everything. Uh, also has new chakra value. I don't really have the energy for compile, I don't think. I mean, if new chakra makes sense, but no. I'm gonna pass here. So duplication instead of dexterity, I guess. And Tropic is just kind of sitting there. And Tropic is just RNG. I don't know if split. Alright, I'll do this. I, compile has to be good sometimes, right? I hate when I get in traffic when I have bite beast. It doesn't feel very good. Should we rest? Because we have to recall and then we just rest. Or I feel pretty good about not taking damage with this deck, right? What's a good upgrade here? I think a good upgrade would be dual cast. It helps manipulate the dark. Helps me actually utilize my focus more cleanly. I think dual cast is a pretty good upgrade. I also think cool head is a very good upgrade. Kuwaita can get upgraded by the Tongs. We're gonna recall anyways. I think we can get by without taking damage. Give me a rare relic. Upgrade all cards can no longer heal. How would upgrading all cards feel? It makes Warp Tongs worse, but no longer healing, eh. Rare relic, Calipers is really good. If we take another heal to full and get more max HP, it's not worth it because we have too many curses in the deck. Right? I think we really don't take damage with this deck. Yeah, we get max HP and full heal, but I also just have another curse, which is going to be one, two, three, four curses. Too much. Oh, this fight's over. This fight's already over. Tori's huge. Tori's big. Big boy Tori. Real big. 
Okay, so... Consume force field ball lightning. I don't need another consume force field. As not once I'm ready, got my powers. I don't need force field. Gambler's brew discarding number cards that, that didn't draw that many. Uh, I could be good for bad draws, but I feel pretty good about this. All right, I'm gonna see what the event is. Could be a shop, right? Ooh, that means the next shop I can do some good stuff with it. Hope that the next shop we cash out at? Sure. I feel confident we're not going to take damage here. But you know what they say about confidence. We need an attack. We got the attack. Okay. So, my question is, guys. We're saving vacation for the heart, right? We're doing buy streamline. We're going to take some damage here. We're gonna take some damage here. Remember, we didn't rest. Hmm. I just have to deal with the multi hits as well. I guess we have Tori, but. I got Electro out. Okay. Defrag is not worth it for the multi-hit, but worth it every other time. I, I mean, I don't mind deck spotting. If I get rid of, the, rid of the body, I get more energy, and then I can play more cards and do skim stuff. I think having reinforced body in the deck is pretty good, though. That's the thing. It's, if, I re if I recycle it, then... It bodes poorly for the rest of the fight. I'm okay doing deck spot now. Because the next two fights, like the Donor Decca and Time Meter, I feel totally fine with. Yeah, with D no, Defrag's not worth it because it doesn't, it gives me, I get, take more damage on this turn. But I want to potentially do get rid of Reinforced Body or deck spot for it. First time I'm just going to do deck spot, but. I kind of want to draw. I wonder if I should just get double energy before I draw, though. That's the thing. I just want to kill this little thing right here. Well, I don't think buffer's worth here. I don't think buffer's worth here. Second bias is worth it, yeah? Absolutely.
Give me frost. I wonder if it is th you could pass your own buffer now. She could get past her out, it's a thing. Get rid of my dark. Get rid of my dark for now. I need to start recycling some stuff out. Like we could, we could very well just do re rebound streamline for the win, right? So the most damage this guy does is 56, right? I got 36 passively, so when I use cold, cool headed, I get. I need five more block on top of that, right? So I just need five more block on top of them. We're good. So let's say I, I make the deck like perfectly small. I can make the deck like never take damage. With the right, um, and I just we had to kill him with streamline shenanigans. Unfortunately, the next couple turns are kind of awkward. Like if I consume now and then do capacitor, I mean I can't lose the fight, but I I can't make my frost quick enough. That's the problem. I consume and then capacitor next turn. I won't take damage as long as I get my frost back in time. So for now, we'll just do this. Actually, there we got the we got the consume again. I do think after I play this, all right. So he's gonna be doing sixty-four damage, right? If I play this, we, we take four damage. I take four damage if I play consume capacitor. Right now, I have full block. Well, no, I don't. Well, yes, I... Ah, oh, fuck. I wonder if it's just worth your capacitor. I take some damage, but the fight's over. Maybe I don't have to take any damage at all, though. I'm kind of leaning towards playing Consume here. It makes my passive block worse if I don't play Capacitor right after, though. No, 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 I'm not using Pot here. Once I start recycling the deck down, this is fine. Yeah, I take one damage. It's still recycling the deck down, that's all. The more I recycle, the better. We're gonna kill him with streamline. I know it seems awkward. It's okay. We just gotta be controlled here, right? We'll kill him with streamline. And we wanna get rid of. We wanna keep recycling out cards. So the more we recycle, the better. T 
taking one damage again. Oh, this should prevent damage. Oh, I, I... Okay, okay. Keep recycling out. So, things like... Like, Zap, I feel like we don't need. Well, once we get to the second phase, we'll just, like, put a capacitor, and then we'll do, like, a dark open in the back. I think I don't need a rush capacitor. I could just... I was going to recycle the defense. I think I should. Once the deck is small enough, like I said, I don't need to worry about anything. You see, we can keep doing like rebound streamline shenanigans. Nah, this is a beta branch. Keep recycling things like strike. Oh! Yo, thank you for the Twitch Prime TLA. Appreciate it, man. Uh, let's try to get some some. Powers out like defrag. I will get darkness for this fight, right? I will get rid of one of the defense. All right, once this fight's over. I don't need consume anymore. Um, the yeah, fight's over, so I think we just. Do we even just enter and do a darken, right? I don't need to do anything else. Yo, what's up, Just Molly? Thank you, thank you, man. Welcome from YouTube. I can kill him. I I can just kill him with everything else now. I probably should just do a cast. Cause I got this. Hello, Otamita. You are a bit scary. Get that out of the deck. That's a lot of damage, my friend. Where's the bias cognition? Wait. If I play a skill and attack, I lose the vulnerable and the frail. I was gonna do consume. But I don't want to take damage. If I take one damage, it's actually ideal. Get the card draw. Double biased. Cool headed rebounds and just take the damage. And then we don't lose, right? And then we don't lose. Like, sure, I'm gonna take some damage now, but after that, we're not taking any more damage. So that seems fine. The alternative. Just to buffer for this big hit. Okay, let me think. Because, like, we have time. Like, the deck's small that I have time. I don't have to rush this. If I do buffer... Like, buffer cool-headed and something else. Well, with the... F like, well, I'm still taking, like... Nah, I'm not taking that much at all. Imagine doing math.
First gen timidity, right? Almost have lethal. I'm not gonna do a cash prematurely though. Four time eater. Hey, he's he's killed a many of he's killed many of you guys. He deserves this. I guess the heart though. I mean double bias is nuts guys. I just need I have a lot of curses. I need to remove that also What are we doing with this campfire? Are we upgrading? No, we have tongs. I wonder if it's just worthwhile to rest This is for ruining every ship deck. Yep We save so if we just duplicate bias, like that's pretty nuts. Got triple bias. Imagine I get four biased out in a perfect world. That should be enough with just lightning and frost, yeah. Yes, I can get the next two cards played twice. I can make four bias. I just yeah, I gotta have both of them in my hands. I have a lot of gold, yes. I'm trying to think what I want to upgrade. How much is the rest here? It might be worth it just to get the rest. Because Warp Tongues upgrades everything else. Everything that I want to upgrade is already upgraded. I guess Reinforced Body is the, one of the upgrades I can get. Or like Skim for more card draw. I think it's rest time. It's only 16 HP. Feels kind of bad. But 16 HP can make the difference, right? It can make all the difference. Oh, shit. This is a decent shop. Whoa, okay, Bag of Prep is very good too. I also kind of want to remove, I want to remove one of the curses. Okay. So what if we do hologram? Or. Power pots. Like, I could remove the decay as the deck smaller and then buy a hologram. Or we can buy a potion because we have sacred bark. We buy a potion for this elite fight. I feel like removing decay and hologram is better. Although well, decay is one of the more passive. It is one of the more passive curses because you can block that really easily. I think we can handle the elite fight without needing a potion, right? I need an attack. What if I just don't attack right now? Okay, hear me out. If I recycle reinforced body, I can play consume. Mm, I don't have an attack, but if I do recycle reinforced body, we can play electro biased consume hologram. We won't have frost. We'll take a hit then. But we'll have so much focus, the fight's over. You 
Yeah. Or do I take reinforced body just to not take damage here? I really want to get Electro out. I'm wondering if I... Okay, like I said, guys, I could just, like, hard scale right now and take damage and feel confident that I'll be okay for the heart with this much life, or try to mitigate as much damage as possible. I still want to bias right now because we can get rid of the negative focus. Turn two, we want to take a hit because we have Centennial Puzzle and we have Horn Cleat, so... Horn Cleat, Centennial Puzzle makes turn two a little bit better. Better take the early hit and go fast, yeah. I, I agree with that, honestly. I think we just take the early hit. That's a decent amount of damage we're taking. I guess we don't need Consume. I could also get rid of Defense. Defense is just 5 energy. 5 energy. Ah, uh, let me get rid of this. Take a little bit of small hit so we can get the. Um, now we got buffer. We got another bias. We just need an attack. Give me an attack. Got it. I think I'll take a little bit of damage here, but it's fine. Not the end of the world. Tori's huge there. I need more frost. I think I can still beat the heart with this much life. It's okay. Glacier's huge. I need the frost. I need the frost. I think Glacier's the best here. That's the first time I just got like a good way to get up my, my orders for frost. Alright. Interesting. Okay. Come on, we have we just need to get the frost going right now. I do want to just get consume out. I wonder if it's worth it just centennial puzzle here. You take two right now centennial puzzle. I don't have a lot of energy, guys. I really need to, like, get Frost out ASAP. Yeah, but the thing about Recycle is that... Nah, Tori's only attack damage. I don't think we Recycle Consume. You think so? You think we don't need Consume? We Recycle Consume, and then we just depend on Biased? Okay, so we got, we could potentially do double bias, double capacitor, right? Double capacitor is not as good. We could do double bias, double glacier. Double glacier feels like a waste, whereas I could do like... Double bias, double consume. And then play capacitor. Double consume and then play capacitor. That's a lot of block. I mean, it's a lot of focus, right? 
And now we just need to get frost out. So we need to like recycle the buffer into the glacier at that point. I think we just at that point we just recycle buffer and play frosts. And we just recycle buffer at this point, right? Or there's a world where we just like. I want to get capacitor out. Because the thing is, I want to get coal snap and glacier up, but I can't. I don't have loop either. I think we take one more hit here and get rid of buffer. And then, is it better to get capacitor out or do cold snap here? And then just hologram capacitor later. But do we get, can we fill out the frost there? I, like, I, I want to make sure I have enough frost for this, for this fight. And then we can get rid of his debuffs if we get lucky. So if we just do Electro... Defend rebounds, we are no longer frail or anything. I know we get rid of some of our... We get rid of some of our Frost, but we get rid of Vulnerable, which is worth it. Now you want a hologram capacitor if possible. I don't want to take too much damage here. I don't have we can keep that in mind. I could do bias, rainbow, attack pot. <laughs> I wonder if barrage is. Wait, is thunder strike worth it for the damage? I think moving forward, though, what are we going? What are we going to rather play instead? I don't put that much or lightning orbs. I think maybe just like Corsairs to get it out of my deck. Or Barrage to get more damage. Like do I really want to keep playing Barrage or rather just get Corsairs out of my deck? Because I don't think I want to draw into Barrage in the future. Because we don't need to draw Barrage. We just do Frost Lightning and just win. I don't need to draw Barrage in the future. Oh, it gives me two. It gives me two. Jesus Christ. I'm so glad I picked Corsairs then. I want to get the block first. So we didn't get the capacitor. I want to find capacitor. I don't need to do this. I mean, it is extra damage. It does help. Should I keep the dark over up or just dual cast it now? 
No point to cast him now. We're good. We're totally good right now. I do want to get kind of get rid of the dark now. Like, I don't need to dual cast that for damage. I'd rather just do this. Pass her, please. I didn't find it. Jesus Christ. This nullifies. It gets damage up. It's fine. We're fine. We're taking some damage though. I mean like... I'm taking like 11 damage here. Psycho Burn's bad because I, I, I lose 3 life to play the Recycle to get rid of 2 damage. So unless I can do Tori in my mind right now. So let me see. Right now we're at 79. And 79 divisible by 6. So 6 times... 72. 78. So anything... Below 78 is gonna be f one damage, anyways. Anything above, uh, this is just fine. This is fine. And now we can start cycling for damage here, right? And play capacitor. Wait, what if we just do like defend capacitor rainbow? There's no way we lose. Finally got my capacitor. I needed this forever. I wonder if I just go for the six damage. Nah. Now you want to get this the dark forward, and we're good. So things like Glacier. I wish I had Loop. Um, things like Glacier. Mm. There's a chance I die. We need Dark Forward ASAP. Reinforced body here. I guess I can get rid of the burn now. We have a lot of block. We have good draws coming up. That's GG, right? GG. Man, that was fun. Bias and pellets. Always a great combo. That's all you need. Bias and a dream.